Hey guys, I'm testing out my new internet to see how well it works. And it's cold outside. So I thought it'd be a great day for some soup. And I thought I'm gonna show you the fastest way to make some soup today. So, you know, I'm in the cute Christmas spirit. I got rock crocks and choppers and deep covered bakers. Stones for my pizzas, tortilla bone makers. Little brown boxes all tied up with strings. Those are a few of my pamper chef things. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing through the whole thing. Okay, so I got a little bit started because I wanted to show you guys the easiest soup in the world. And it's hearty and it makes your tummy feel good and it makes you warm inside. So, of course, we got to have to have that rock crock rocking. So I've already, what I've done so far is I cut up potatoes in little bitty pieces and I microwave them so that I've got those because they take a little longer to cook than some of the other things. And I also cooked up some hamburger meat in the micro cooker. Now, if you don't have one, now they're black in the catalog, but if you don't have one of these, these are very inexpensive. They'd make a great gift, especially for a college kid. This would be something great because they can do hamburger helpers start to finish in this thing in the microwave. But what I did is I cooked my hamburger meat and you can see right here. And what I like is after I get it cooked, I can just drain it right out of there through the lid. Now these cost, I think about 12 bucks is all. But, um, so this is a pound of hamburger meat, and I put some fajita seasoning on it, and that's all. So I microwaved three minutes, and then I took the mixing chop. If you don't have a mixing chop, please get hold of me. We'll make sure you get one in your hands. And then I put it back in the microwave for three more minutes. So six minutes total to cook up my hamburger meat. So we're just going to dump that in there with the potatoes. Now, this is why I said this is a soup you can do, because the rest of it is all just cans. Now, open some of them, because I needed to drain. This is a can of green beans, a can of fire-roasted corn, and a can of carrots. That's all this is, so we're going to dump that in there. Now, we need something with some juice. So we've got some fire roasted diced tomatoes. We'll throw this in here. You don't want to drain your tomatoes. You want that juice in there. We're going to turn this up too low. Now we're going to add some beef broth. Now, one thing to remember when you're opening cans, you need a good smooth edge can opener. And ours because nothing touches the food, you don't have cross-contamination. You don't have to worry about nasty stuff getting on your food. So you just put this on top of the can like so. Turn, and it's going to lock on. So you got hold of it there. So go all the way around. You're going to feel it release. And when you feel that, you kind of hear a pop. Go backwards a quarter, turn, and take it off. Now here's the trick. Remember the beak. See that look? Uh, this button controls this. So we're going to take the top off our can. It's easier to do if you're not holding it up. And we're just going to pour our broth in here. Now I'm going to put two cans of broth. And then we'll decide if it's enough. So you just put that in there. So I'm going to turn this on low. Because I just want this to, to kind of cook all day. Uh, that way when my mom gets ready, I'll have this going. Now remember the rock crock, it started in the microwave to cook the potatoes. You could have cooked your hamburger meat in it as well. I just like to use that little guy so I can drain it through the lid. Now, with this, we need some seasonings. Three onion rub, I put in everything. I buy four at a time. Be sure, if you don't need anything else from Pamper Chef, get you some three onion rub. I don't measure. I like it. So there's a lot of that in there. I also like the crushed peppercorn and garlic. So these two seasonings are probably the ones I use the most. So, and soup is, it's a personalized thing. If you want 
English peas, put some English peas. If you want something else, put that. If you don't like corn, leave the corn out. When you cook, the first time I make anything, I use a recipe. After that, those recipes don't mean much. And so I also add just a little bit of taco seasoning. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. It's just to kind of give it a kick. And then, of course, we need some salt and pepper. Now, if you want to, you can add some more broth or a little bit of water. You could even add some of the Lipton soup mix to it to give it a little more flavor, just whatever you like. So, what I love, love, love about my rock crock is that I could use it in the microwave, I can use it on the stove, I can use it in the oven, under the broiler, out on the grill if I want to, and this guy. The Rock Rock Slow Cooker. So this is like my favorite, favorite thing to cook in. People are always asking me what my favorite tool is. And really, they're not, I, I like them all. I want them all. I'm not going to do without any of them. But the Rock Crocks are the ones I, I reach for every day. Every day I use a Rock Crock for something. So now, once you get that mixed up, just taste your broth. Mm. See if it needs anything else. You can even put, if you want it thicker, put a little tomato sauce in there. Just be careful because you can get it too tomatoey really quickly. But that's just all there is to to making a big old pot of soup. And on this cold, nasty day, it's going to be so good. I'll probably make some cornbread to go with it. Maybe I'll make some crackers. Not make crackers, but serve crackers. So that's it. So tell me a little bit, um, tell me what kind of soups you like to make. Tell me if there's anything you want to learn to make, and we'll start doing more videos with recipes because now I have good internet, and that's not going to stop in the middle of it. Pretty 